What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Oxen Free. I am excited to record today's episode because I don't know where things are going to go. It's kind of exciting. But before we get going on that, we have a Ren and a Jonas to talk to. And they're, uh, they're fighting. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Okay, these might be super quick conversations, but they're conversations nonetheless. And Ren, don't eat any more brownies. We're still <laughs> no, we're friends, still friends. Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. So descriptive of everyone. Love it. All right, so we're headed off with Nona to Main Street, which is basically we climb down this tower and we head left. I'd say west, but I don't think it's actually west. I I don't know. The map is in 2D, so left it is. Is Nona going to be silent on this whole trip down? Probably. It's incredibly awkward. Because that means I have to fill the silence. Also, that look right there. It looks like she's wearing a backwards baseball cap. I thought that for a second. Up until I had thought that, I thought it was a uh, beanie, which it totally is. But depending on the angle, it kind of looks like she's wearing a backwards baseball cap where the bill of the cap is the same color as her hair. See, this is why they need to have dialogue in the game. So I'm not left to fill the gaps because this is what I choose to talk about. Nona, come on, let's go. Okay, I wish she's not having as many issues, <clears throat> excuse me, with that ladder as Jonas was having with that cliffside last time. Come on, girl, let's go. Hurry up. I'm kind of excited to get to pair off with Nona, though. We haven't really gotten to talk to her much. She seems like that quiet, shy type. But now that we're just the two of us, maybe we can strike up a conversation and get to know her a little better. Or maybe... I don't know. I really don't. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake... I just forgot. I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> oh, hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So... <laughs> Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. That's oh, kind of cool. and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Chris is out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, happy early birthday. In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. You gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not Hopefully true. Hopefully we can I was thinking about survive uh, till then. About Clarissa and well, I was thinking about my last birthday when you know. Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. This is what I was talking sorry. about about the awkward pacing. No, come on, I wanna hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. That's so nice. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Why not have this conversation when I was struggling to talk all the way down that silent walk down from Harden Tower and instead tell that, like, two-minute spiel on a walk that takes ten seconds? I don't know. Maybe I'm nitpicking a little bit. Actually, I'm definitely nitpicking a little bit. Still, come on, game. Is this... This isn't where I need to be. Is it? 
No, I need to head back to Epiphany Field. And then down to the... Dang it. I gotta go down before I can go left, I think. And we're back with the music that is incredibly loud. So I hope there's not much dialogue because it's going to drown it out terribly. I mentioned this last episode during the premiere that there's no audio controls at all in this game. I can't adjust the volume of the music or the dialogue or anything. It's all one level. That, like, sound was very strange. This isn't where I need to be... How do I go back? I swear this is... No, we can go further down. Ah, we go all the way to the bottom and then we can take a left across that bridge where it gets all spooky and... Wait a sec. I called attention to this before and I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is that, a pile of rocks? That's exactly what that is. Is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The wow. forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist, it will be over soon. Whoa. That was the most, like, direct statement. The rest were all just kind of cryptic and weird. And that one mentioned us. I feel like there was a hint of um, satire in that. Making fun of America and how we handle stuff like that. Ooh, this is... Uh, Excuse me, I have stuck something stuck in my throat today. That is the gate to Maggie Alders. Adlers. I, Alders? Adlers? I keep messing that up. I, I might get it by the end of the game. Which I feel like we're getting kind of close to. We might not be, but... That's the feeling I have, at least. But yeah, last time... I don't think this was blocked off. I think I could have continued on. I just didn't. Yeah, we totally can. Ooh, okay, this is new area. Not drastically. This is above the cliffs that we were walking on. Okay, cool. What is this? Another forward station, something or other? This data command annex, as it had been A done, data was used annex. during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. That's kind of cool. Whoa. He disappeared there for a sec. It looks like a little bit of path at the bottom, and I think that's what this is. Actually, hold on. Where does this lead? If it's Main Street, then I want to check. Yeah, okay. So that's where we need to go. I'm not going to do that yet, though. We're going to jump down here and see what there is to see. Like always. I'm assuming it's just going to be an anomaly or something. Or maybe not even that. Or maybe this is a way to get back down to the cliffs? Did we follow this path heading to the cliffs? Sorry, I'm saying the cliffs. The shore with the bonfire? This is feeling familiar now? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we've been here before. Okay. I don't know why this is just now clicking that we've been here before. Let's head back up and head uh, to Main Street, though. Because we definitely don't need to be here right now. So, 
it's the Parks and Facilities Building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, I just hope Ren's not misremembering his sister's job or something. Sorry, I was gonna go check out that little ledge right there on the right, but that's where the dumpster originally was, and we had to push it to get over the fence. I'm remembering things now from episodes past. Sounds cool saying it like that. Okay. Guest Information Center. Antiques and Gift Store. Clarissa! What are you... How did she get up there? Wait, what, what are you doing? Clarissa, how... How are you... How are you not dead right now? Like, oh. swan dive out of a window, empty pool dive, dead. Clarissa! What? On the beach and Alex! The Christ, the what's Dreadnought. wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, do you know what's happening? Is she... Is she gonna be okay? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like... Uh, Clarissa! Oh, gosh. This happened to Jonas, too. It's, Here we go again. Uh, I don't know, it's like when they want to talk or something. Oh, God. Clarissa, can you... On the beach and can you hear me? Something... On the beach, Alex, the radio. Come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, somehow. Okay. Nona's not gonna shut up until we do something. Marissa, can you come down? Time to make the triangles and talk to the ghosts. You think you can control me? Clarissa. What? I, what? I, I no, I, I'm not trying. You're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. We're not trying? What about you? What have you done? You get stuck in Milner. You ask for our help. What have I done? I've sacrificed. I've made immense, bottomless sacrifices. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is that saying she's dead and they're the only reason Is she's... She okay, or she's... I think so. Or not? Carissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. No. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you, do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So you're just blank? No, I remember so weird. something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. What the Alex, heck? Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found screwed. a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean... Come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She it was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my god. You I see hope we this? Snap no. out of this Come soon. on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead and a giant lit up 
Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? Wait, what? It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free, he was out of here, until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. That doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. She's- Seriously. And Donna, I it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I- I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we can't do a thing, this. and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you? All the outs in free. Hey. Outs in Whoa. free. Man, do you ever do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Like oxen free. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my. It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is, like, right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. Is that the door that we've been able to interact with but do nothing with? That was we're so... Gonna try, we're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key? So much looping dialogue. Yep, this game has this enough loops already. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. What, kicking the door down? <sighs> well, that was hard. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs? How, how does that work? <laughs> That's very strange looking. Who says that? I've never heard it, at least. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. <laughs> cool. Carry on. Oh, gosh. The box would probably have the keys. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. Huh, <laughs> uh, okay. Has that happened before? Oh, yeah. It's... I feel like we're like a call-in show or something for them. Nice. I at least I didn't jump terribly at that. Uh, That's good. I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says they're wall radios, wave-assisted mm. lock, whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate to Adler's house too. Ooh. Oh, great. Let's hike it back to the gate. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or... Like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we this can start town, back. Right? I just want to... Okay, here. <laughs> Steal a boat and leave. Whom it should concern. This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? Wait, isn't she dead? Didn't she die, like, yesterday or something? Uh, it's dated a month ago, so... I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control, and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now, I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths? What? Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. 
Are those the anomalies? To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I help preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. <laughs> I just had, wanted to check out the oh, beach here. I seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah. We've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home. To be totally face up with you. So, if I heard that right, Maggie is the one who set up the anomalies to allow us to find out what's really going on? Now that we heard that, that makes me want to... Did something just sparkle over here? Oh my god, the, the Canaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. The USS Walter Roy, a destroyer escort, sunk the USS Canaloa with friendly fire on October 25th, 1943. It had held a developmental nuclear reactor in its belly and had been sent out weeks earlier as a test of its capabilities. Relatively few even knew of its existence, which tripled the base's confusion when the submarine's communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I would discover later that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Salter's wedding. Salter was an engineer on the Canaloa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. That wasn't there before. Are there now going to be, like, collectibles around the whole world that are just going to flush out the story and flip it on his head? I kind of have a feeling that's what exactly is going to happen. Before we head to... Before we head to Maggie's, which I don't think we'll do this episode, I do kind of want to check out the beach again where this all started and see if anything has changed down there or if we have access to do anything new. I don't know what I'm expecting to find, but at this point, I don't really have expectations, so... So hopefully we find something of interest. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said Whoa. we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... <sighs> never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> this is so weird. This is what? not what I was expecting, like yeah. I said. Why am I here? What, you don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex, relax, we just got no, here. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Clarissa's is so much Today nicer. It turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah. Um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. What a combination. Ice cream tennis weather. My favorite. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... i Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. 
<laughs> okay, I guess. So... This is uh, so weird. Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... dates. Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose? If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. It's like we're back in time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. So genuine. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? <laughs> he just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? What? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Glad you got it back, regardless. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. So we get a little one-on-one -on -one okay, time with everyone. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? This is so strange. I missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot. That's all. I don't hey, know how to on. answer. I missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night, <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you <laughs> had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's... Okay, Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so... That's what I see in her. Yeah... I'm sorry, I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, she's nice Stick now. Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. <laughs> you know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. You know what, Bucko? Oh. I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. You guys know what time it is. It's time to end the episode. I'm sorry. I know how much you guys love your cliffhangers, but that's where we're going to end things for today. I'm just as curious to find out what happens next, so don't think I'm being mean intentionally. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Until then, as always, take care.